yeah this this retreat was a very fundamental trans transformation for me um i the, the theme of shiva and shakti brought me here and i now really know why um it really really helped me a lot in in understanding deeply understanding the the bigger bigger thing that we all are and the as opposed to the the stillness we can all find in us there's also the i really i really found the 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 power of the expansion of love and um this retreat really helped me in in truly feeling and embodying this um together with an amazing amazing group um yeah it felt like everything need to happen as it happens first the the silence going in going deep and then the the explosion of everything that came up after in the sharings and in the activities and in the dancing um yeah it was a a roller coaster but it's uh, a perfect roller coaster yeah this was this was a fantastic 7 days and uh i really appreciated we had Three days of meditation at the beginning to really ground ourselves in the, in the ground of being, of already fullness and wholeness without anything missing. And from there we took a deep dive into the theme of Shiva and Shakti, uh, polarization and depolarization where, you know, whereas men and women there's a, a lot of depolarization happening between the sexes and um and also on a personal level where i and we are either holding back in living and embodying our our fullest expression of masculinity or femininity and um yeah where where the kind of cultural ideas and conditionings are really getting in the way of that um so it just felt very whole and complete and deep and I felt Pete was really just a yeah a, live, a living embodiment of, of the Shiva and Shakti energies and the way that he he uh, expressed both at, at different times on the retreat to guide and support us as a group and individuals in their in their processes um, and it was a lot of fun as well. There was a lot of humor uh, interwoven, a lot of lightness, a lot of, uh, yeah, you could say ease of, uh, ease of being around quite a, quite a big subject. And uh, yeah, it was really a fantastic seven days. I went to, to be in this retreat mostly to be in silent for the three days silent and but uh, um, now uh, in the end all the 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 retreat um, was so so important so transformative so useful to me you know because I feel uh, uh, much more love in my heart, much more uh, love that I can give to others. I I discover my my truly uh, divine essence, feminine and masculine. I I, I really I really feel much more empty um much more fulfilled with uh, with uh, with love and and um, uh, all things that i can do uh, and i i i will do uh, in my life 
in and continue this this uh, this were this um, is proposed to myself to to take care of me and take care of others. The seven day retreat was a amazing experience. Um, from the meditation in the beginning, which uh, was really hard for me, um, until the end, with all the sharing and uh, mind-blowing information, um, I enjoyed it from, I'm trying to, till the end. Um, Pete is really great. He um, is a very truthful person and in our sharing I felt he he understood deeply and asked the right questions so that we could explore ourselves more and go deeper. So Pete has has led us through seven days of this retreat um, and it's been incredible to be with him and to hear him. Um, the first three days um, sinking into the, the Shiva consciousness was absolutely incredible. He guided us, he supported us in that time. And then the inquiry that we've gone into as well with the Shiva and the Shakti has been utterly, utterly incredible. Um, what he transmits um, and his passion for for this um, this need to um, make the equilibrium between ma the masculine and feminine in the world um, more balanced is is incredible to to listen to and it's deeply touched me um, and I feel like I have. I have a, um, a deep respect for Pete for bringing this to us and, and to me. And I've got, um, yeah, I've got some things that I um, want to take, take charge of in my life now and, um, yeah, birth this into the world. The whole retreat was like a roller coaster. I felt a lot of uh, emotions and feelings uh, rising and also my physical body was uh, changing how how do i perceive uh, things around me and also how do i perceive uh, my way of uh, being in the world and and understanding the this polarity of uh, shiva and shakti how how does it manifest in the in the world and also in us. Um, brought me a lot of uh, clarity uh, in order to transform my myself and be uh, free, free and manifest the the man I want to the man I want to be. The retreat uh, was had amazing teachings, um, heart, heartedly given, very profound. It helped me go deeper into my essence, essence helped me clear, clear, clear my mind, helped me be present, so not only the silence part, but the sharings, obviously Peter's um, teachings, so all together help me in, in this life journey of mine, um, a, be a better version of myself because help me being more myself. So I highly recommend anyone wanting to be him or herself living really in the present also gave me uh, more thoughts more insights about um, this um, Shiva and Shakti essence of each one of us and its impact on 
the relationships between people, um, being friends, being lovers, which will, will be extremely useful for my life. It's not easy to put in words uh, such a, a deep experience and the, f the feeling I have is that uh, this was a blessing <laughs> to be able to, to put all my attention and my presence into what's mostly important. And um, for me, it was extremely important the possibility to to listen to the sharing of other people and and witness how how Pete was uh, receiving and uh, responding to that. And with this, from this. Uh, from this presence, from this receptivity, from this truth. So I take many small, precious glimpses of um, what it might be <laughs> to live fully my potential and to be more free, more, more connected with joy, with true love. <laughs> yeah, there's no other way I could imagine to have spent those the transition into a new year. Thank you. I grew up uh, try not to see my spiritual dimension. Try to refuse loving deeply. Uh, and um, now I realize uh, that's the most important guide of our life. Um, and um, because of that, I allowed myself to admit that I grow up uh, being like a more masculine, be more masculine uh, than I, I, I really am uh, because I, I learn to be an independent woman. I have to be strong to not uh, show my vulnerability uh, and uh, because of that uh, I, I was not uh, able to be full and happy and now I'm I will do what I have to do it's simple just be myself <laughs>